Maybe citizenship is actually about obligation. Mm, I like that a lot. Maybe citizenship yeah. is actually about duty. Maybe that's actually what the whole thing is about in the first place, is to say that, you know what, I live in a free society that allows me, people like me, a kid of parents who came to this country as immigrants with no money in their pocket, who goes on to found multi-billion dollar companies at the age of 37 and self-finance a presidential run by putting tens of millions of dollars of my own hard-earned money to it. That's the American dream. That's what I get to, that's what I got to live. But maybe citizenship is about something else. Yeah. Citizenship's about duty. I mean, that's yeah. the Reagan quote, right? Ask not what, you, what your country can JFK. do for you. Yeah, Ask JFK, JFK yeah. sorry. Yeah. Mixing up all my presidents Reagan today. probably but, said it too. Uh, but Reagan, you know, Reagan we said all, it <laughs> not in so many words, <laughs> but he said it, right? Right. So, yeah. Ask what, well, what you can do for your country. And there is a sense, there is a lack of duty. I think there is a culture that demands that it be given and it, it be allowed to take, but it does not give back. And I, so I completely agree with everything that you just said there. There's a, a conception of rights, which was, was I, I would say, um, much more common historically than it is today, but it, it's basically the idea that rights are a product of duties and yep. not vice versa. So today, yes. our understanding yes. is basically as follows. Well, you have rights and you just have them. You can't explain how or why. Maybe we'll, we'll reference God. Maybe, you know, if we don't believe in God, but we do believe in rights, it's like the invisible morality particles uh, that float <laughs> around us. I have no clue, but we just have these rights. And then when you exercise your rights, sometimes you incur responsibilities. I believe it is the exact opposite. There are things you are made to do as a person. And because you are made to do these things, you have an obligation to do them. For example, a man has an obligation to care for his family. Because he has an obligation to care for his family financially and provide for them, that means he has a right to seek out licit methods of providing for them uninterfered with. Or a person has a duty to protect themselves. If you have a duty to protect yourselves, then you have a right to the the best possible tool necessary for protecting yourself, which is why we have something like the Second Amendment. But I find that almost everyone in politics gets this entirely backwards. They say you have the right and then the duty. But the truth is, no, you have the right because you have a duty. Yes. And that is so in a simple framework, that's what I'm saying is at the age of 18, you think about, OK, I have an obligation to at least serve or at least to know something about the country. And then I have an equal voice and vote in determining that direction. But that policy, like, you know, we've, I've gotten into a lot of discussions in the last few months about it. It's almost obsessing over the detail with false precision about one idea that's part of a broader worldview that I bring to the idea of citizenship in this country itself. Yeah. I think we need to revive that idea of civic duty. And, and we've fallen into the trap of thinking that American identity is all about individualism. Right, that it's just about me, me, me. And I don't apologize, by the way, for free market capitalism. I'm, I'm an unapologetic embracer of free market capitalism, the best known system to man to lift people up from poverty. But I just don't think that's the whole story. I think there's a separate and important, equally co-equal story that we're also part of a nation that's bigger than the sum of its parts, that we as citizens, not as capitalists, but as citizens owe a duty to that nation. Right, so 1776 was the year of the birth of the nation. That was the year of the wealth of nations. That was Adam Smith's Adam famous Smith, text. Yeah. It was also the year of the Declaration of Independence. And I think that both of these are America's parents. And, and the, the only the fine point I wanted to put on this, this actually relates to our earlier discussion about religion, is that you hear a lot in this country, people invoke this term, the Judeo-Christian values that this nation was founded on. It. This nation was founded on Judeo-Christian values. But nobody ever stops to talk about what are those values. That's right, exactly right. right? And the, one of those yeah. values that's fundamental to this conversation is the idea of duty. To have a, to, to discharge a duty it involves making a sacrifice. Amen. Like Amen. God asked Abraham mm -hmm. to sacrifice his son Isaac. He didn't have to follow through with it, it turned out. Yeah. But he was, he was willing to make that sacrifice. And then in the New Testament, what God sacrifices his son mm -hmm. for the people. Yeah. Christ gives himself up willingly uh, to death and, for us. And, and that idea is woven into the idea of citizenship itself, is that there's a certain sacrifice required to be a citizen. That's an example of a Judeo-Christian value woven into not a direct democracy, but a constitutional republic, which involves those civic duties.